Okay, let's do this reflections for Robert Baratheon. I already got a Cersei auto. Robert's on a break. He's probably eating in and out burger. Oh, Robert, guess what? I met my cousin um, this weekend. First time I ever met him in 31 years. It's a long story, but, you know, my adopted name and all that story. Well, it's my real cousin who I never met. Um, he was in town, so he came by. But he works for Southwest. And he can get me on his buddy passes for free. It's like no big deal at all. They do it all the time. He said, dude, I'll just get you a buddy pass. Hop on the plane. Leave in the morning, like 9 o'clock from Chicago. Come on out to Arizona, and we'll go to in and out for lunch. And then we'll get you on a flight back to Chicago that same day. So I might fly out to Phoenix for in and out Burger lunch. <laughs> Maybe I can do lunch and dinner. I literally will fly out, get some In-N-Out Burger. He works for Southwest. He works on uh, planes, the airport. Oh, Edward, Edward, Edward. The Hound captures Arya. And these are shiny. Dope. Kind of looks better with the lights off, doesn't it? One banana, two banana, three banana, four banana, na 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 na. Like that one, Joffrey. The Faith Militant Arrest Loras. Oh, I thought that was a Joffrey one. I thought you had a Joffrey. John joins the Night Watch. <laughs> one banana, two banana, three banana, four. Except they put the they put the cards in the wrong size in the wrong size pe wrong sized penny sleeves. They don't fit, which I guess I think you already knew that. I'm gonna change them out, put them in the right sizes. This was from the other night. And of course, Cersei. Samuel. First freaking one we opened. All right, let's. Can't 
can't believe they put these in the wrong sizes. Robert, these 75 ones are like foil. So they may be easily dinged up. You know what I mean? If you're sending them to PSA. Then again, they grade everything high. So that's their motto. Grade it all 9, 10. I'll ship these out to you today, Robert. I got some other shipping to do today. I kind of forgot Monday sets you back when I don't have a Monday. Look at Joffrey smiling in the background. I hope they do a cool spin off. There's a dead John. Oh, how about a dual auto of these two dudes? And Robert, what's the story of Rittenhouse? How comes they get the luxury of getting Game of Thrones versus Tops? I'm going to have to run over to West Dundee to get more freaking top loaders. Now this one's in the right size. This is that little laser cut. I like this girl. She is freaking hot. Thought that was Joffrey for a second. Here's a lenticular dragon. Dan, 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 dan. Robert, did you see the thing on Facebook if Game of Thrones were made in the 90s? Video? Best freaking ever. It's all my timeline. Box number 0222 of 8,000. Box number 0222 of 8,000. Just kidding. If it was, I wouldn't open it. Bum, bum, ba -da -dum, bum, ba -da -dum, bum, ba -da -dum, bum, Robert, today I will email uh, Nick back, unless you know Nick, and say, yo, how many Game of Thrones do I have and how much do I owe you? And you needed more of those. You wanted a pallet of those. I wrote it down. What's the size again?
I really wish I would have kept my original freaking Game of Thrones autos I had back in the day. Before anybody was caught on to Game of Thrones, I bought like Series 1 or Season 2 uh, boxes and got Tyrion Lannister auto. I got uh, the Dad auto. Low numbered. I sold them, of course. 12 by 18. Hound captures Arya. 75er. Did they do low numbered stuff like one of ones in this? Take your hands off him, old man. Roderick. Did they number these at all? Probably not. Man, they should do dragon relics. Pieces of the actual screen used dragon. Scales. Dragon scales! I guess it's hard to do dragon scales when they're computer generated. Because dragons aren't real. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you dragons are not real, at least that I know of. There's my dude. Oh, shit. No. Piece of her chainmail, dude. Why did I sell these to you? You know why I sold these to you because you've been such a big help to me. So there is a dope Daenerys Targaryen piece of her shirt. That's a $175 card? Well, shit, Robert. Based on all these hits adding up, what did we pay for these? $130? Bucks? Wow. Oh, don't tell me that. Don't tell me. <laughs> don't tell me that. Seriously? Sounds like I might be hopping on a buddy pass from my cousin Southwest and heading out to Nashville. I guess right now us buying anything from them would be an, a good investment, Robert. So maybe we should just say, what do you guys got? And we'll buy it. 
You know what I mean? Even if it is market price right now. Cool gold auto. Renly. That's got to be cool. Man, I could just, I just want to open up, you know, 50 cases of this on air. Certainly can do hit drafts with it. I could make stacks, you know, the autos, open up like four boxes, sell like eight spots or something. Maybe, Robert, if, um, oh, sweet. You're going? Hmm, I wonder what Heather would have to say about that. Even though you know Heather, she doesn't really have much say. She says, but it doesn't mean that I can't do anything. She just says, well, Tom Hopper. I really can't believe I sold all my Game of Thrones stuff from, must have been six, six, seven years ago because I lived in Skokie at the time and I've been here for almost six years. So it's got to be six, seven years ago I had all these Game of Thrones cards. I remember they were all gold ink. I had basically all, Joffrey, um, Tyrion, which was like one per case. It was really hard to find. Um, I had the dad, Lannister. And I, started, I looked at the prices of them, and I was like, holy crap, I can sell this Lannister dude auto for like $180 right now? Well, I suggest you get streaming, Ed, because it's really, literally, seriously, for real, probably one of the greatest productions of a show in television history. You know what I mean? By that, like, no show will ever, ever rival or come close to the production level quality that Game of Freaking Thrones has done, let alone the stories the characters, the show itself overall, the plot line. Hodor! <laughs> Hodor! Open the door! Open the door! I mean, the cast was just one of those magical moments of a cast that came together. I'm going to go get these in the top loaders for Robert Baratheon. Dude, that's some value if you bought those for a hundred some dollars a box. Shoot. Robert, so I'm going to call um, GTS dude. And if they have a bunch, I mean, as always, no secret here, my cash flow is a little tight for spending extra because I had to spend for this place in the build out. It's costing me $400 to move my display case from point A to here. Little stuff like that. So extra cash flow around isn't that plentiful. But if you would like to buy them, you can buy them and then I can sell the breaks and maybe we can share in the profits or, I don't know, do something. Split them. But I'll let you know what he says. I'll let you know what I come up with.
Now that's cool. I'm going to ask Heather if I can go to Nashville. And again, if I go to a con of thrones, I would be there just to, I'd probably be there as a spectator because uh, I'd probably spend too much money. 